don't even know how I'm gonna tell you guys this. Uh, first of all, everybody here in this community looks like they want to beat my ass. Everybody keeps asking if Angel and I are still together. Focus, focus. Okay. Hello, hello. Hey guys, what's up? Ignore that. Can you even see that? I have a blanket over my window. Yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys are doing well. I cannot believe that this is happening, to be honest. This seems kind of crazy that we're living in a time like this. But nonetheless, uh, I hope you guys are safe. I hope you guys are well. I hope you guys' families are well. I hope you know this is a really, really hard time right now. I wanted to make it um, a thing where I recorded a lot of videos for you guys to be able to watch and be entertained, given you probably have other people that you watch. But... I know that some of you like my videos more. So I think that Albuquerque has officially went on lockdown, which is a little scary. I don't know for how long. They just said it yesterday. All I know is that I'm going to try to maintain my sanity by keeping a schedule, doing things like painting, drawing. Those things are always fun, and I think we're allowed to go hiking, just not around a bunch of people. Just make sure you guys exercise, eat properly, because I know it's really hard on some people that deal with mental health issues to stay inside all the time because you're just you can be surrounded by your thoughts and that is it so listen to me get off the internet go outside breathe some fresh air try and paint try and draw i love drawing if you want to you can draw me something tag me on it on instagram and i'll look at it and i'll post some of your drawings and we could do something fun like that you can draw anything like that. So this video is basically going to be a life update because I feel like I have things to tell you guys in all different areas of my life. I haven't really been able to speak about a lot of things, but yeah, so this is what this video is going to be about. So if you don't want to watch me talk about what's been going on, then bye. So by the title, yeah. I moved out probably the worst time that you could possibly move out of a place. <laughs> I moved in this new place. Friday and the reason that I moved out of the other apartment is because there wasn't enough space and to be honest I really I didn't mind the area but I heard gunshots out my window and it was really scary so also I had spiral stair uh, spiral staircase in my apartment so that was really hard <laughs> I'm a fat ass so yeah, I was on the hunt for an apartment and I found one and here I am. I'm here. This is the apartment and here comes my bad luck with apartments. I don't know why I have such bad luck with apartments, but I do. So my pain can be your laughter. Here we go. There has been problem after problem after problem after problem after problem. I could go on forever and say problem. So the biggest thing about this apartment is that it's really old and you walk into it and you have no idea that it's old like it looks really cute on the outside it appears really cute but on the inside it's shriveling up it's literally like benjamin button anyway so there's a lot of things that needed to be fixed that for some reason wasn't fixed i had the move-in date set you know already for the 20th and that was in the contract but nothing was fixed it's not by any means the landlord's it wasn't her fault she doesn't live around here so she just owns apartments but it was the contractor's problem and their fault because they didn't take care of anything and they just thought that we would move in and just you know move in this virus i take it very seriously and i do not expect anyone to just come around me and fix stuff that could honestly wait but this stuff should have been fixed way before i moved in and that's on a period the sink it was super clogged pretty much everything was super clogged so this is the closet in the bedroom and uh there's a really cute little light up there yeah highlight bitch how do i turn that light on you know how i turn that light on i have to get up there and screw that bulb in welcome to the bathroom what do we have in the bathroom well sure don't have a damn outlet to put my my stuff plugged up into so yeah there's no outlet
ignore this, I hate this. When I first moved in, this toilet rocked back and forth. Yeah. So that means if I pooped, my crap would have been floating through the kitchen. <laughs> Who lets you move into an apartment when the, when the toilet's not even like connected? These vents, yeah, they, they don't work. Yeah, they don't work. Also, there's no toilet paper roll holder. Love those holes in the wall. This is my favorite thing, the refrigerator. It makes this really cute noise. And you can hear it throughout the whole entire apartment, so getting sleep is pretty much impossible. This whole area right here, yeah, the washer. Yeah, I just got it the other day and it was leaking so bad because this whole entire thing, the, the water that supplies this was so old and green and moldy and nobody had replaced it in so long that it started to leak. So the floor was, it was once covered in water, so. Yeah, and I love this. This, this is great, I love that. This pig job is great. This outlet back here, yeah, the outlet back here doesn't work, and we have two more that doesn't work either. And y'all know how I said I wanted to move to a better area. Well, let's just say this area is <laughs> might be worse than than the last area. Everybody here in this community looks like they want to beat my ass. <laughs> yeah, it's just not really a pleasant neighborhood to live, especially the neighbors beside of us. Yeah, they bring in a lot of people, that's all I'll say. We have had a plumber here four times, guys, four times already. What the actual if? I don't think that this apartment at all is worth what I'm paying, so that makes me a little upset. I don't know, I just don't like it, so I effed up. I effed up by picking this place, and I wish that I didn't, and I don't know why I have such bad luck with apartments. Don't get me wrong, I'm really grateful that I do have a roof over my head and food in my refrigerator because I know that some people don't, and you really have to look at the bigger picture of things, but I guess I am... I'm being that person that says like, I paid for this, why isn't it done? Um, everything is, is getting fixed though, like that's the difference, that's why it's not like a horrible, horrible situation. And I don't even know how I'm gonna tell you guys this. Uh, first of all, a lot of you guys know that I have really been pursuing my acting career. I mean, really, 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 really pursuing it. To be honest, like when you're signed with an agency, with, I got signed maybe a couple months ago, like four or five months ago. Yeah, you, you really have to work or they're just not gonna want to work with you, you know? So you're gonna have to put in a lot of time, you're gonna have to put in a lot of money. And I feel like I have worked my ass off at what I've been doing. I've been taking classes, which those have been put on a hold, I think. Yeah, city lockdown, so. Also, as an actor, you have to have a reel because for you to send in stuff for a casting director, they have to be able to look and see what you can do. And obviously it's hard if you don't have anything on your reel. A reel can consist of anything you've done in film, maybe you've done something in a movie, web series, or just what, whatever kind of project that you have of you in a high quality speaking lines, but you have to be, a, you have to have a line. You can't just be in it. Kind of what I lacked is a reel. I only had one thing on my reel and it was from this TV show host, web series host, not TV show that I did back in 2017 for this show that it's called The Hot Take, you can look it up. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to The Hot Take, your one-stop shop for internet guests, skits, and everything in between. I'm Taylor Skeens. But it never came out, it's still in post-production or whatever. I don't know if it's ever gonna come out to be honest with you, but I had um, a little clip that I took from that and that's all I had. So usually my agency, they will send me a lot of hosting roles. And I'm not gonna lie, they're not really my favorite thing to do because I'm more interested in like TV and film. You know, I don't feel like I'm a Nick Cannon. I don't think, think I can take on that role that he has. I just want to be a serious actress. I don't know, you can't really pick and choose and I'm not really doing that. So I'm just kind of taking what I can get. But I do wanna show you guys something that I did for my reel. I went to Colorado to get something filmed for my reel. This 
amazing woman. She's super, super sweet. She wrote me a script. She wrote me two scripts. I have a drama and I have a comedy. And I'll show you the drama in a second, so wait up. Basically, her camera guy, he's amazing as well. Yeah, so here it is. I'm going to show you what I did. What are you doing here? Trish. I didn't think you were going to be home. Like, I just came to pick up the rest of my stuff. I don't know how to say this. Like, I'm sorry it didn't work out, okay? What the hell is that supposed to mean? You know, you started out real strong, but you're finishing like a wimp. Why didn't you just quit while you were ahead? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do here. Tell me. What killed it for you? Oh, come on, Trish. Not this you're again. You're just afraid that someone better would come along and... You'd be stuck with me? I don't want the marriage, I don't want the kids, I don't want to be tied down, and I don't want it with you! <laughs> okay. It's done. You could go back to doing whatever you were doing with whoever you want to do it with. Look, Trish, I never wanted for it to end this way. Everything ends badly. Or else it wouldn't end. <sighs> Goodbye, Brian. I hope you guys like it. It's basically just for the real so uh, casting directors can see. And um, I think it's really cool because it was, it was an easy process to get it. I mean, I don't live in Colorado, so I had to travel and uh, stay at a hotel, but I didn't really have a problem with that. I don't mind doing stuff like that when it comes to acting just because I am so dedicated to what I want to do. The big news that I want to tell you guys, and I really don't know how, I wasn't even going to say anything because I don't know how much I can say and I don't really know where I'm at with this. Bro, your girl is gonna be in a feature film. Did you just hear me? Dude, I can't, like, what? So this is like me telling you guys that I got the role of, I can't say, obviously I can't say, I can't say anything, but all I'm gonna say is like, you guys don't even know what, I don't know. It's, it's been kind of like dreary and hectic the past couple of days. So I haven't really been able to like process like Taylor, this is still happening. Taylor, like you got this, like, come on, give yourself some props, bruh. <laughs> so yeah, I got it. Um, I don't think you guys will guess what kind of like genre of film that it is. I don't think you guys would expect this, but comment down below what you think that it actually is. I would love to hear your responses of what you could see me. Um, playing in like do you think it's like a suspense do you think it's like a superhero movie do you think it's like a like a Mean Girls type movie I really fit the category of Karen from Mean Girls Anna Ferris from House Buddy so as you can see Ditsy and I think I could play Ditsy too I think I could do really good at playing Ditsy you know if you guys need anything, if you guys are like interested in the acting world, um, I can give you some pointers because to be honest, I started at zero, had no idea what the hell I was doing. And like, to be honest, like building up your resume is like one of the hardest things because you could just have zero things on your resume and you're like, wow, I'll never get signed. And it just seems so far away. So yeah, if you never need help, then I can definitely help you with that. So on to the next topic and the last topic and this is going to be super short because everybody keeps asking me this and I just feel like I need to say it. Everybody keeps asking if Angel and I are still together. Of course we're still together. Oh my god. Did you like that acting? Try that on for size. <laughs> yes, we're still together. It's just we don't really make our relationship that public and I like it that way personally. I mean, I like him in videos. I really enjoy having him in videos. It's just that I really enjoy our privacy as well. So nobody can really, you know, judge and make assumptions and, you know, all that good stuff. And I just want to keep a really good, healthy relationship. And I feel like this is like the best way to do that. So, um, um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. 
Um, guys, I will be filming a lot because I feel like life is kinda, kinda coming together and I really want to have some um, content out for you guys so you'll have something to watch and, um, you know, I can make you laugh and stuff like that. This was just like, you know, tea. I, guys, I can show you guys the apartment and stuff. I kind of want it to be ready more, but... Yeah, I don't know. I kind of don't care. I'm not one of those those YouTubers that have to, like, light a candle and be like, Let me film this candle just burning. No, honestly, if I have, like, a bucket of fried chicken on the table, then that's what you guys are going to get. Because that's real. That's real. That's my real life. Alright, guys. I love you so much. I hope you enjoyed the video. Comment down below. Tell me how you're doing. I really want to know. Tell me some things that you would like to see from me. Um, I have some things in mind already, but if you have something that you really want to see from me, let me know. Um, okay, I love you guys so much. Please stay safe. Wash your hands. Um, and I love you so, so much. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.